Tonight, as part of our Campfire Dessert Lecture Series, we have the amazing Val Lopez, in person, live. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Lightfoot. <laughs> well, hello, everybody, and thank you for being here. Our creation story takes place at Mount Umanum on the Santa Cruz Mountains, just south of Highway 17. The Creator gave our ancestors the responsibility to take care of Mother Earth, all the animals, and all the plants, and all living things. It's important to understand that Native people had learned through thousands of years of adaptation to steward the land. Stewardship is the key role. There is a relationship of people to tending the land for the benefit of the animals you know, that both they survive with, but also to maintain a healthy ecosystem, an environment that depends on itself. Yeah. <laughs> the really detailed eco-archaeological work that we're doing provides another line of evidence besides the native oral traditions to really understand what's going on. Features like this that are intact, that are undisturbed, are very valuable in archaeology. We can take samples from them and see what sorts of activities are associated with each type of feature. It looks a little too irregular on this surface to be like intentionally shaped. It's important to us to have this information about how people use plants and animals because that gives the tribe information that they can use to decide how to bring these practices back today. This first stage of our process after we take materials from the field, we sift them into different size classes. There's some really small objects, fish scale, vertebrae, sea urchin spines. What I'm looking for here is actually charred seeds and wood. That'll give us a bigger picture um, as far as what they were eating and things that they were burning. By doing this sort of analysis, we can get fairly representative pictures that can inform policy management and native relationships to the environment that need to be restored because of all the historic injustice that's gone, that's happened to those communities. But currently, our tribe is working hard to restore our indigenous knowledge. Our Amamutsin Land Trust has a stewardship program. We bring in our young adults. They learn of our culture. It's really nice being out here and having this collaboration, and especially doing it for our ancestors and knowing that we're not just out here for a check. It's, rare. it's really meaningful. I think it's nice that we're, we're collaborating with them because you can, e you can either let them dig up your ancestors' bones or you can work with them. Yeah, we kind of learn from each other, you know. They probably learn from us, from our native ways, and you know, we're learning you know, from them, from educational you know, field experience. I like working with Berkeley. Professor Lightfoot and Rob. He shares all of his knowledge, you know, so that's, that's what I love about it, and that's, um, that's what our culture was about. I found a deer vertebrate on the last one. Okay, yeah, Rob yeah. told that, mentioned that. Yeah. The find that tells us a lot of our ancestors. I could not be more happy than I am with the work of our stewards. They recognize that if our culture has survived, they must be successful in their learning. We've been experimenting with uh, doing x-rays. As we learn how Native people lived on the land and took stewardship responsibility for the land, we learn how to adapt and survive in our own right. If we don't manage the land properly, we won't survive as a people. <laughs>